So today we are off to the Hini Maya. Um, bit laid out this morning and yeah, gonna quickly type some flies which are my favourite Hini Maya fly. Um, basically just a orange bead here in copper with a bit of UV dubbing in it. Um, I'll show you a quick sped up version of the process and um, yeah, I'll also show you the end result. And the Hini Maya being the Hini Maya you can lose a hell of a lot of flies there so I'll quickly type a few and then we'll get out onto the water. So I've just tied up these four here in coppers. They've just got orange bead as you can see, then just a UV mixed in with the hairs dubbing. And yeah, it's basically a hair and copper, just with a few different variations and they seem to go really well on the honey. So we'll get them out there and hopefully we can catch some fish on them. So here we are at the Hini Maiaia, cool little river to fish, and this is the first pool that I'll be having a cast into and I'll just slowly work up it and yeah, see how we go. So just a quick run through of my setup, got an indicator just that it can actually slide and adjust depending on the depth that I want, but at the moment I'm probably about... I know, about an 8 foot litre, it's pretty shallow in here and not particularly fast flowing so I should get away with that and I just have the single nymph on there we go first cast, let's see if we get anything first cast get a good length on it far up above me so I'm fishing water that I haven't spooked and there's our first fish it's only a little fella though very very little fella This is when I'm glad I have barbless hooks on little baby trout. Do 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 do. Interesting little fact, and one thing that I actually have tended to notice just on the topic of catching that very young trout just then, I have UV tied into this fly and I like UV just because it's a, it's a colour that stands out. Um, there's a lot of a common thought that trout in general see UV, um, which is quite fiercely debated. From what I've read in the past on the topic, only young salmonoids at a very young age, and then their cones actually develop in their eyes to a point where they stop seeing them. Apparently, it's some evolutionary thing that. Um, aids young fish to sort of tell what's uh, edible and what's not um, and as they grow older they don't need it and it's no advantage so they actually lose the ability I don't know if that's actually entirely true or outlined in the best way possible um, but yeah if anyone else has any theories on UV I'd be interested to hear them because yeah, usually when I do catch the young fish like that, it is on fires where I've got UV tied into them. Trying to navigate over these bloody logs. Probably can't quite see them, but... I'm just going to cast into there from here. There 
and we got a fish on finally. Oh, got to keep her away. I cannot let him go there. Oh. Uh, this is almost impossible. But <laughs> I knew it was going to be hard to land a fish there, but yeah. Oh well, first decent sized fish hooked and lost. I've just got an absolute myriad of logs here to work with. Oh well, makes it a bit fun, doesn't it? Okay, so we are back to it after losing my fly on that fish. Hopefully I didn't spook anything in the pool playing that fish. Oh. My fly landed so close to that blackberry that time. And we're on again. Yeah, that's the way I want you to go. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. Not too far, not too fast. Oh. Now I gotta worry about where I'm going. Gotta jump over these logs. Okay. Get under control, get under control. On the reel, on the reel. Come on. Got it a little bit under control now, I think, I hope. So we'll try and get him up here. At least he started out going up rather than heading straight down like the other fish. This is such a cool little pool. Just throwing the backpack off, I forgot that if I have a backpack on, I cannot. Oh no! Come back, come back, come back. Good, good. Come back. No, do not go down there. Do not go down there. Don't follow your mate. Come back. No, don't you go down there. Don't you go down there. Come back. Come back, don't you dare, don't you dare. Let's play the game, man. I'm gonna put you back. Come on, yes, back up, back up. Oh. He just wants to go where his mate went. No, you're not. No, you're not. Oh, God. Come on, he's right on the edge of where that log is. If I let him go like another meter, he's gone. Okay, this is good, now we've got him in close. How did that happen? If I just get my bloody net out. There we go. Oh, I really thought that was all over there for a moment. Small little three pound, well, not too small, but nothing to really write home about. There we go. Beautiful colors on the guy. Look at him. Let's dip him down again. There we are. Classic Kenny Meyer looking fish, that one. Woo hoo hoo. Just another nice little pool here. A quick cast on here as I'm moving up the river. And first cast in this spot, we've got a fish on. I think we have a little bit more 
room to work with in here than the other spot, but... Head straight down the stream. It's a beautiful day. The reason behind the choice of the Hinimaya today was the fact that the Tongariro or everywhere else is just so windy. So I thought it was the next best option. Still a bit of wind here, but it's a pretty sheltered little valley and it's great on a windy day. Come on, where are you going? Has he wrapped me on something? Oh shit, goodness. I thought he had wrapped me on something. He's strong, this fish. Has he wrapped me? No. Nah. I got no idea what's going on here. You wouldn't even think there's a log there. I'm going to go in here and check it out because this is weird. What on earth? He's like under the lock. This is so strange. I've never experienced a fight like this in my life. How's he still hooked? So many questions. I can like see the fish. I'm going to drop my GoPro in there and see if we can kind of get a grasp of what the on earth is going on down there. We've got him out, that is unreal. What on earth just happened in that fight? That is hands down the weirdest fight with a fish I've ever had. And the fact that I've still let, like I've had fish wrap me up before I'm stuck. I don't know what just happened. Hopefully that bit of video I got into the water enlightens us a bit. <laughs> I am absolutely amazed that we still have this fish in the net. God, you've been having a bad time, haven't you? I just caught him. He's got a glow bug stuck in his... Here we are, another rainbow jack. An absolute full spawning colour, so... Good to get these guys back in and healthy so they can go do their thing in there. Beautiful fish though. And definitely gave me the strangest fight I've ever had. So yeah, when I was kicking about over there, having a look to see what had happened, there was a log down there and I'm not sure in what kind of way he was wrapped on it. But yeah, I've never seen a fish put you on a log and then stay on. It saves a lot for barbless hooks. Ah, oh, there we go again. Oh, this guy's not happy. This is turning out to be a productive little pool by the look of it. Not going to let you find any logs, hopefully. Beautiful fish. Oh, I gotta get you in. Otherwise, you can do a real number on me in a river like this. Oh, there we go. That's a beautiful fish. Not as big as I thought when it first jumped. Let's get him on the scales. Her on the. Come on, her. So it's really nudging five, four and three quarters. That's a beauty. And good girl, you didn't wrap me on a log, did you? That's such a nice fish. Look at it. I thought I was recording, but it seems I was not. And Looks like I've hooked into another fish. I'm not sure if it's of any great size. It's not small. Definitely not small. 
Stay away from the bank, mate. There we go. There we go. Really dark coloured. Been in this river a while, that fish. Off you go. So, uh, yeah, the GoPro batteries have decided that that's it for the day. Um, all in all, pretty good day. One really nice fish and one really strange fish and fight. I've never really had a fish hook me up on a log like that and then still manage to get it off. Oh, that was just strange. But anyway, a bit of a learning experience. Um, but yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get those GoPro batteries sorted shortly so I'm not cutting videos short because there was a little bit more water I would have liked to have fished. So anyway, onwards for the day and thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, check me out on Facebook and website down below. And yeah, if you ever want to come fishing with me, just let me know. Cheers.